Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. How do you know which wires exactly need to be routed inside of an enclosure? In today's video, I'm gonna answer this question which I received recently from a customer. All right, we are here inside of the ESS sample project in ePlan um, and try to figure out what is the right approach or what will be a proper approach when you do process wiring in ePlan. First of all, you probably know that there are a couple of ways how you can do process wiring in ePlan. The first way will be to select the components in the graphical editor and use the route functionality. For instance, select the component, go to edit, uh, and use route. The second one will be utilize selection in the layout space navigator, for instance, and use route. Or the third one will be utilize the connection navigator, select components, and use route. And typically, new customer may have the question how do I know which wires need to be routed inside of enclosure? Do I just select the whole enclosure, press Ctrl A, and hope that all wires are wired? or are there other options? And the way which I typically recommend new customers is to use the connection navigator, create a proper filter, and then uh, have a clear overview which wires need to be routed inside of ePlan Pro Panel. Uh, so in order to approach this, we'll go here under connections to navigator and open the connections navigator. Here. On the filter, you can see that ePlan already gives you predefined filter for your selections. Typically, customers may use here the 3D mounting layout or the electrical multi-line uh, schematics. The goal for us is to create an own filter or to utilize a filter which shows us certain information, right? And before we approach this, let's think of what this filter should contain, right? So the filter should display us all wires which need to be in a certain location, for instance, in a certain enclosure, like in this case, enclosure A1, contains a routable functionality, uh, like connection, like wire, like tube, for instance, and don't have a routing length yet, right? So that will be, uh, the, that what we want to achieve is to get the 3D length, right? But in the filter, we will negate it, right? So if you know what the criteria are, then we could actually start to create a filter, right? One challenge which we might occur is that the 3D length information is not directly reachable in this connection navigator. So we will need to use a little trick via the block properties, pull the information from the 3D mounting layout and display it in a block property so we can filter it, right? And luckily, right, to save you time, ePlan has already prepared a filter for you. And all what you need to do is assign a certain block property to your project, which I'm gonna show you shortly. So the filter which I'm talking about, which ePlan has already prepared, is the connection navigator the ESS sample project filter? So, in this case, ePlan tells me there are some wires which are not which are not routed yet, right? So, how this looks like and how to utilize it, I'll show you shortly. But what does this filter contain now? So, if we click here on the three dot button, we see it's called block property 10. I'll go shortly into the block property so you know exactly what, what to do with it. Here we see it's the operator is bigger than zero and negated, right? As I mentioned, we would like to have a value, right? But negated, so the value is not there yet. Therefore, it needs to be displayed in this list. And here you see representation type is multi-line. That means we placed it in the schematics. 
and the function definition is for instance conductor wire right we will do the same thing here with an or function for all routable connections or for all routable function definitions like connections general wire jumper tube pipe non-electrical connection and optical fiber process engineering and at the end we are adding an end functionality here and telling what is the connection association it's either individual connection or a cable source and target location so inside of an enclosure a1 and what do you don't want to see for instance shielded what shielded functions okay for you interesting if you would like to utilize this filter for yourself right you could adjust the a1 information uh, to the enclosure which you're utilizing in your project okay so what do you need now to utilize this filter or in in your project you will need to set up the block property correct okay and the block property can be done in the project settings I'll just close this go under file into the pro information properties and here are the project settings and if you take it a look for instance for the block property connection 10 you see this key information i will paste this information in the um under the, under this video so you could copy it and paste it in your e-plan but if you take a look at the property here we see this property is pulling the information from the 3d mounting layout connection and it's the property information connection length pool okay so all what you need to do is copy this information into your project and then you could utilize the filter okay so the filter is essentially telling me that this 11 connections here needs to be routed or are expected to be routed in pro panel but don't have a length yet okay so that means utilizing this filter if i'm relatively new to the to the software i'll probably just select these 11 wires by going to control a press right mouse click and use the route functionality now e plan wired the wires so they are already wired in pro panel and therefore this list is empty right so probably at the beginning and the first step if you have no wires routed yet the list will contain much more wires but your goal is to have an empty list here if i close this you can take a look at the result so what i prepared in this example were essentially all 11 wires which are connected to this component This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. If you find the content beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and share it in your community. Also, let me know in the comments below what other content you would like to see on the channel next. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.